Hello everybody, it is me, Clawmaster. I am back with another behind the scenes video on the entire online miniseries I created in the lead up to my supposed debut but was cancelled for lore and real life purposes. Now in this episode, I'll be going over episode 4 and my thoughts and creation upon that idea. And this is actually one of my favorite episodes out of everything I've made so far. So, uh, to talk about episode 4, now obviously we lead from episode 3 right afterwards into episode 4 into Eli basically scanning and analyzing the Callmaster's armor. Uh, the idea for this was basically as I said before in the last episode, I'm very much this design was very much inspired by Iron Man from the Marvel movies. and. One of the things I really wanted to do in a similar fashion to some degree because, you know, I don't know how to remodel or I used to, but not as much anymore. And uh, the next best thing I could think of was, okay, I had this concept art that I had commissioned on Skeb, and now I want to turn this into a episode of analyzing each part and describing what each thing can do. And some of it I had to really make up on the fly. In terms of like, oh, um, hmm, his boots, it makes him fly. What else it does? Uh, it has claws on it. Okay, so I guess he's good at uh, clinging onto walls. So I really had to think about most of the stuff you see on screen regarding what exactly each major part of um, Master of Armor and Suit does. So, um, basically, like, yeah, it, that went from there and just kind of described each major part of it and very much like the Iron Man fashion in terms of what what each All thing right. was and it was a really cool Let's effect because I here. one of the things I really liked about that th this uh, episode was that very much again like Iron Man like just kind of describing and having some cool special effects also I didn't have to talk in this episode because it was great but uh it basically was me just kind of taking the idea of scanning armor and then putting some light text and also like implementing some video into it which is really cool and i like doing it very much just making cool stuff for the most part so there's not much to say about you know the create the idea behind it other than just do what iron man and marvel did and just do the same thing for Clawmaster for this episode which is cool so what i basically did that and for the most part i feel like i landed what I wanted to, to, to do is with everything I had in, ha in hand uh, not again I only had so much to, to work with so I think it's the best outcome but what I will say though is it was a lot of fun putting it together also as well uh, I always wanted to do one of these type of things and my first go around it's not bad but I definitely want to have a go at it again in the near future uh, so with that being said uh, let me see if I can boot up um, After Effects of Premiere Pro and get into the nitty gritty of the after of the, the editing. All right, we are back, and this time now we have the behind the scenes footage to look through the video editing aspect of the video that I created for the online mini series. So, uh, again, much of this is pretty much some of this I already had done before um, in regards to this effect right here. Uh, this is, I believe, I used it for another demo reel I did in, in a year or two ago. And it was something I kept over. I believe it grabbed it off of YouTube and it was a scanning uh, video green screen. And I took that and I put it into my video because it was pretty well done. Like it was basically the circle would zoom, would uh, center on something, expand, and it will put it online for me to put the text and whatnot. The, if you're wondering where the text is, the text was actually added on in Premiere Pro, um, which you did see, and it was very much it's just one of the templates that they had, which fit really well for what I was going for. But uh, in terms of what it did in After Effects, so with the After Effects version of the video, what I essentially did um, is that, again, thanks to the website I subscribed to, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll put it right again on screen so you can see where I went to, um, they had a multiple array of good templates for me to, to mess around with uh, and one of which was the overlay um, This is no, I did not make this overlay or this uh, this cybernetic sci-fi UI 
um, this very much I got from the website put into here uh, and then start messing around with um, uh, with my uh, concept art and how it fits within it and zooming out and scaling to to fit where the momentum is, is going uh, so that pretty much is what how that works or how that was uh, put together but everything else wise close-up shots uh, you got kind of more a full body shot here half body um, very much just photoshopped out the concept model put into different layers and put in dance effects and just for each one I zoomed in or I zoomed out or I made emphasis on which one the cool effect I really did enjoy uh, is this effect you see on screen where he's kind of disappearing like cybernetically um, this effect I believe I got a while back through I want to say it was through humble bundle or some other website uh, where it had a bunch of special effects that I can implement and this actually uh, I believe was a mat let me double check on that let's see this is this right let's see no that's not it. is it no hang on maybe it's this right here uh yeah okay double click on that yes it is a track mat absolutely okay cool so basically in layman's terms what i did is i took that effect overlaid on the image so that it will uh show up as he, it is re revealing and what ended up happening actually oh, i gotta go in here actually there we go okay and let's go back up oh, back here okay so yeah, basically that if that that motion that that video i overlaid on top of the picture and while that is happening i made sure that the image itself come on come on you i'm the image itself as you can see uh let me go ahead and let's see which one was it yeah okay so the image itself, which I already have a mass, actually the half of it, so that only this upper side is showed up. But basically what happens is that I went ahead and set this to opacity to zero here. And then increased it to 45 for the reveal. And then I reversed it when I needed to disappear. So that while technically the image isn't being seen, because of because it's still there but because i have the uh the mask on it the other video on top layer, layer on top it's taking it, its place on top of the image as if it was there um so that's in the most general terms in terms of i just put a video on top of another video and just make sure that the image just disappears when it needs to be in the very basic of terms about then get into the nitty-gritty um, so yes, track matting is pretty cool. <laughs> so you'll see that a lot in this video in terms of, um, what, uh, what other transitions I put in here, like this effect as well. Uh, the other, so this is actually my favorite part of the, of the entire thing. So, um, I needed a way to, to show off what the gauntlets can do because in lore purposes or in lore wise, the gauntlets, what they basically are, is like think of Green Lantern's uh, ring and how he can transform anything that he wants to uh, into existence with his ring. But in this instance, for Clawmaster, it's his gauntlets. He has two gauntlets that he can form, um, and he can form any weapon that he chooses to. But the downside to doing so is that one, uh, it takes up some of his dragon energy or his his essence essence to do so. And two, um, he can't sustain that for a very long time as, as he is still a hero in training and can only maybe form maybe one or two things that he can control without fading out. So, uh, his go-tos are usually just like claws because, you know, claw master. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and the, I think this effect, again, I got a, uh, a, a while back, I bought a bunch of video effects that I have on my computer. Um, a bunch of other stuff I have. So I had this lightning effect I had on hand. And 
what I did is, um, I, while usually this this effect is only one time around, um, it only happens once. I layered on top two or three of them, so it looks like it's kind of channeling into the gauntlet to explode of energy to his weapons. This is actually the concept art, um, but this is all video effects. So I just layered on top, and then once it gets to that part, oh, come on, After Effects, don't crash on me now. <laughs> once it once it explodes, um, you see the beam of ex of explosion from his gauntlets into his three blades that exploded, which is I think my favorite part of this video. And then there's text overlaid here as far as like what it can do and what it does. Um, and then it'll lead into the final portion, which I think I don't think I have on this file. But basically, it was like you know the date and debut date of Clawmaster and Twitch channel, which you still just go subscribe to anyways when I do debut in the future. But um, after that, much of everything else is pretty much the same. You zoom into an image, you have the this effect going on. The the text shows up. The video portion, um, self-explanatory, uh, scaled from inside of the circle outwards so it goes right to here video shows up describes what's happening or example what this can do what this foot can do same with the others and then zooms back in once it's completed it reverses everything so that the text comes out then goes back in and they move on to the next section so um, that's pretty much about it in terms of the complexity part and then again like the other parts where the text sh text shows up Isn't much of anything else uh, Too complicated, so I had a lot of fun with making this I had a lot of fun uh, Doing this because again, I wanted to do some like Iron Man like just to some degree And I think this was probably the closest thing I can get to it given the what I had on, on hand uh, so yeah, this was really cool to do. This was really awesome, and I think that uh, I think it turned out very well. I really love this transformation of the blades being transformed uh, through the special effects and this image. is really cool. I liked it a lot. So that pretty much describes the entire process of making this episode four. Um, so there isn't much else to say about it. There's no lore, there's no lore purposes outside of just like hey, Eli is analyzing every each part. Uh, in real time and very, very much like how Iron Man was putting things together so very much very uh, very, very much uh, nothing else going on uh, but next episode there'll be I think much more lower purposes of what's happening so but outside of that this is really cool I really enjoy making these mini series and I think it's awesome and it um, you know thank you to who to uh, those who actually watched it and enjoyed what I did so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next week with another video on behind the scenes on episode five.